Hey everybody, the Retwirl here, and welcome back to more of I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. Uh, okay, I did actually just record like an hour or so of this, but I hit a snag on Nimdok's story and I thought I had screwed something up, and it turns out I hadn't. So it was literally just from not doing a certain combination, which is real dumb. Either way, so, Penny. Fucking God, I forgot how loud that was. isn't like any of the others Am has sent me to. It's full of life, not death. Full of life. I really like Benny's voice, to be honest. Walk to the bottom of the steps. Oh, God. Am, you son of a bitch. You've cleared my mind, but crippled my legs. I can barely walk. Wow. Am, you son of a bitch. Alrighty. I haven't eaten for months. The smell of food cooking nearby only makes it hurt worse. Considering I played all of this an hour ago, it's still fairly fresh in my mind, so... Someone important must live here. Oh, to the elder. Oh. I can't understand his language, but he seems to be welcoming me to the village. Ah, I see. Uh, what else can I... What can I look at? There's a bag. A bag. Maybe there's food in it. The elder. This old fart looks too scrawny <laughs> to be gathering nuts and berries. He must be the village elder or something. There's a video screen built into the cave wall. Hmm. Hey, ignore the newcomer. Gather oh. the villagers at the altar tomorrow to choose a sacrifice. I have spoken. Damn. Okay. Back to the cave mouth. And I think. Oh no, I can look at this. Some of the twine around the baskets came loose. Hmm. Now we can a go over here. Tree. It's been years since I've tasted real fruit. Am once coaxed me into marching across a thousand miles of ice to reach a stockpile of canned peaches, only to discover that he didn't give me a can opener. Oh no. This fruit looks ripe and sweet. To be fair, Benny had it, has had it so rough. We have the uh, the the fruit, but hurts, hurts, hurts. Yeah, if you try and eat, it just hurts. So Benny doesn't even have the ability to eat food, even though he is starving. Right. So we take the fruit. We go into the third cave. Some kind of dwelling. Looks like there's a fire for cooking inside. Oh. Walk to this cave. This looks like a. What did they used to call them? Single parent household. Uh, Probably depend upon the generosity of the rest of the village. Friggin' welfare parasites. Jeez. Alright, save over this. I'm gonna, like, not save all that often, I think. Right, not walk to. Look at the pot. What's cooking in this pot? Look at the bed. A bed made out of vines. Looks comfortable enough. Hmm. This looks like a good hiding place. This video screen has been tampered with. There are wires hanging out of it. Ah. This woman looks half starved, just like her son. Yeah, that's like a, a, decent a hint. Meal out of either of them. Oh yeah, I forgot Benny's a cannibal, isn't he? The boy's a friggin' mutant. There's a third arm growing out of his back. All right, either way, give the fruit to the boy. You for food. Okay. Oh, the screen. I understand this now. Okay. Um. Right. Yeah. Just talk to him hungry. as much as Where I can. can. I get some food? There is fruit in food cave. It comes from the trees. Right. I tried eating the fruit. It only made me sick. You bleed when you eat. When I was young and not so different, my mother chewed it for me first, and then fed me. You look like you don't eat very much. Mother and I not allowed in food cave. 
villagers are afraid of me and let me starve. Oh. How are we able to talk? I learned to talk using am screen. I am smart, but villagers think smart is defective. I wish I were strong, so then they would give me food too. Hmm. Defective? That's tough. Sometimes, but I am spared lottery. Villagers are afraid of me. Oh. Lottery? What lottery? Villagers hold lottery to choose sacrifices to Am. How long have these sacrifices been going on? The sacrifice to Am machine goes on many long years. The very different must go to him soon. Not many villagers left. Dear. Um. Why do they sacrifice their own people to Am? One is sacrificed, so Am does not hurt all. Yeah, it's so that they don't suffer his wrath. What are these sacrifices like? The sacrifice to Am hurts very bad. There are better ways to die. Almost any way is better. Not I need surprised. To go find some food. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. All right. Yeah, Am's a dick. That's basically what we know. Okay, so take the fruit. I'll go back to the cave. Don't look this at it. The God cave. damn it. Mm. Alright, give the fruit to the mother. Amazing. Yes. This woman digested the food and then regurgitated it back to me. Like a bird feeding its young. Woohoo! Alright, so there's that. Now speak to the boy. <sighs> I am getting very tired. You now family. You use our bed. Go sleep. Oh. Alright, cool. I didn't realize I was family. Jeez. Yay! I'm gonna say this should work. Oh, that sleep wasn't nearly long enough. Hmm. I wonder where the boy's mother went. Hmm. So I speak to the boy. Where is your mother? She go to altar to help choose Am sacrifice. Oh. I need to go find some food. I'll see you later. I mean, this game's really interesting to actually cover. Mostly because it's a game where I don't get an opportunity to quiet talk. Today. Too quiet. Like, I don't get an opportunity to talk very much. I don't, I don't mind it. It's Why basically like... Gathered around the altar? ...when covering any Telltale game. Alright, so there's that. Alright, what could I look at? I could look at the altar. Nothing but twisted wiring and recycled plastic. What's with the ropes on the crossbeams? Looks like they're used for holding someone captive. And also Why the sentry. Is everyone gathered around the altar? And now we can talk to the elder. Ask why everyone is gathered around the altar. Um. Um. Like some kind of lottery. That's the mutant child's mother. Oh dear. Oh no. Okay, ask. It looks like she's been chosen to be sacrificed. Oh. Ask to watch. Ask if I can eat her. Uh, just watch. Thanks. It sounds like you let me watch. <laughs> That's not the way he sounds. Dacho. <laughs> Piba. Oh. But I accept the chosen one. You shall not feel my wrath today, am I sweller would. Oh god. Oh my Jonas priest. Am blasted her to bits. What am I going to do for food now? Wow. There's burnt plastic and twisted metal where bits and pieces of the woman should be. I wonder Holy. if they're going to bury the remains. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, I have no words. Alright, so there's that. Now that that has taken place, I'm pretty sure we go back to here. I don't know if you have to actually do this in a specific order. Most probably. This graveyard gives me the creeps. Mm. I feel as though the dead could speak. That's because they can. Surprise. This is the grave of Murphy, one of my old commandos killed in the war. Alright. This is Tuttle's grave. Tuttle. He lost his life while under my command. Thomas is buried here. I'd almost forgotten my life in the army before Am came to power. 
Right, so talk to Murphy. You left me for dead in the field. The bullet in my brain came from your gun. What can I do to prove that I am a different man? Give us proof of your newfound empathy. Okay. Tuttle? My tour of duty was almost over. But because I knew your secret, you held my head under the paddy water until I drowned. Your secret died with me, and soon it will die with you. Mm. What can I do to prove that I am a different man? Show us that you're able to think of someone other than yourself. Thomas is buried here. I wanted I'd to actually talk. Forgotten my life in the no, talk. I tried to help Brickman, but you'd have none of that. If you couldn't carry your own weight, then you were worth more dead than alive, and anyone willing to carry some extra weight was a liability. What can I do to prove that I am a different man? man. Give us evidence that you have some sympathy for others. Okay. Essentially, all of their requirements require us stopping the sacrifices. Pretty much. Also, we need to go back to the kid. Talk to him. I meant talk to the kid. I'm sorry. Your mother is dead. I know. Me sorry too. She only wants to care for me. Except you. Hmm. What will happen to you? No food. No safe from lottery. Either way, not good. Don't sound it, does it? Why don't you run away from here? Bad idea to run. Villagers hunt me down. Become sacrificed to Am Machine. Hmm. I can't care for you. I have my own problems. You care. You may not do anything, but you care. Me no. Aw, how sweet. I wish I could stop the lottery from taking place. Many villagers go to old man for ideas. Too bad he not friend. Right, I think I need to do that. I need to go find some food. I could I'll be wrong. Later. But I think if I do that and then go to the uh, the elder's room, he shouldn't be there? Oh no, he is. Crap! Okay, maybe I need to exhaust everything. God, talk to the kid. Jeez. Are the victims buried in the graveyard? I know nothing about graveyard. Hmm. I wish I could stop the lottery from taking place. Many vi Okay. Look, I'll do what I can, but no promises. Thank you. I promise for you. All right. Now let's see. This is where the village oh. elder lives. Don't look at it. God. No, he's still there. Um, hmm. I need to try and get him to leave, essentially. What was if I talked to the elder? He's motioning towards the video monitor. Nothing much. I wonder if I could. Could I just this walk is where back the in? Village elder lives. I don't know why he keeps reverting back to luck. It's really dumb. I'm just trying to see if I can get him to leave. There was something I did before and it like caused him to leave somehow, but I don't exactly know what it was. I literally just kept going on to the I wish I could I stop the lottery and then he popped up with that I and then I go. left. I, oh. Yeah, then he left. This is oh my god! Lives. I, I hate the fact it keeps switching. Nope, he's still there. How do I? Hmm. I don't know. Speaking in the third person, Am. Oh. Which is I. Am is satisfied with the sacrifice. He, that is to say, I, will spare the village. His, that is to say, my uh. wrath for today. I have, as I said before, spoken. It might be because of that, actually. If I go back in, what happens? No, he's still there. Shit. I might have had to do that after the sacrifice. And then come to talk to the kid. I wish I many. So Look, I thank you. So let's see. If that works, then it is because there was additional dialogue. Nope. What? I'm really confused. I never had issue with this before. No, it was something that actually just worked every time. I need to. Well, it worked once, but that's all it needed to. Ugh. Try again. Nope, he's still there. What the shit, dude? Can you leave? 
Wait, if I talk to him, what happens? He's motioning towards the video monitor. Okay. Speaking in the third person and Oh god, I can't actually get out of this. That's so annoying. He's satisfied with the sacrifice. He, that is to say, I, will spare the village. His, that is to say, my wrath for today. I have, as I said before, spoken. <laughs> spoken. And I can't get him to leave. Uh, oh my god, the game crashed. Come on. Thank you. Those are the lottery Ugh. pieces used for choosing the sacrifice victims. Hmm. Why can't I get him to leave? I never had issue with this. What happened? Looks like it's empty. Maybe now he's fucked off. Nope. <laughs> what the sh I really don't know. This is confusing as hell. As I say, I never had an issue. I wish I Many right. Okay. I need Boom. If I can't get him to leave, I really have no idea what I've done wrong. He's still there. I can't get him to leave. What? <laughs> okay, that doesn't actually do anything. How come? The village elder oh my god, must be what? Out gathering food. I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea what the hell causes that. But, uh, I don't care. Got it. I'm out of here, bitches. Alright, now we can actually go out the kid. This is the cave where the me. boy and his mother live. Never mind. Because he keeps switching to look at for some stupid reason. I stole the lottery bag from the village elder. You brave. You have lottery bag, but you must hide it or they find. Okay. Alright, and I need to take one of these for the graves. Ah, mana from heaven. There you go. Okay, I'd say we're, we're actually very close to the end of this, so it's not all that bad. It's still really stupid that that took so long. Oops. But no reason. It was just confusing. All in all. Talk to. I have the lottery bag. No more villagers will be sacrificed. Hmm. Show the lottery bag to Thomas. Oh, okay. Thomas. I have the lottery bag. No more villagers will be sacrificed. You proved that you're capable of caring for others, and that's worth something. Place the lottery bag into the earth. We will guard it. Okay. We forgive you for what you've done to us. But we can't speak for your most tragic victim. Brickman's grave is under those vines. Okay. As I say, I already know this. It is. It's probably the good thing. Grave. Talk to Brickman. Hello, Commander. I'm not exactly happy to see you again. I last saw your face just before I got it right between the eyes. Oof. Uh, yeah. I have something to plant on your grave. Yeah. Some compassion. Now I can finally rest in peace. There we go. Right, so I'm done here. I think. So da da da. Yep. Now all we need to do is go back to the boys' cave and sleep. Don't know if I need to talk to him. I'm pretty sure I don't. I'll save just in case. Use bed. Now we can sleep. Uh, uh, the there we are. Still here. I wonder when the next sacrifice will be. So what we need to do, I think, is just go into the elders thing, talk to the elder. Is he just motion motioning yep. towards the video monitor. So check out the monitor. Gather the villagers at the altar tomorrow to choose a sacrifice, or suffer the wrath of Am. Red. So they're still doing sacrifices, even if they have no lottery. Will they just choose whoever? Hmm. Talk to the boy. I always click the wrong thing. Oh. Whoa. Look, I'll do. Thank. 
Okay. Didn't really want to do that, but whatever. I buried the lottery bag where no one will ever find it. No lottery means new way to choose victim. I'm more scared now. Oh. I mean, he has a point. Am wants to have a sacrifice tomorrow, even with the lottery bag missing. Why don't you hide in the hole, just in case? I afraid of hole. Need friend to hide with. You too big to go in hole. All my friends are far away from here or dead. I have no friends to hide with you. Me good idea. I make friend and then I hide. You help me. Okay. What can I do to help you make a friend? I need head for friend. I'll see what I can find. All right, first and foremost, I need this. Ah, mana from heaven. All right, just go this way, and then take the junk. Here's an interesting piece of junk. It's a head. Funny. I had lost interest in anything that wasn't edible until I met the boy. Hmm. I know he hasn't eaten anybody. I might as well go in here first. I don't see anyone inside. Walk to it, you tit. Right, yeah, and there's vines. If you look at them. Vines. I oh no, it's not that. Edible. No, you just push them. Whoop. There's a loose wire among these vines. And that's another thing I can use for the doll. And then the final thing is in this cave. It's a goddamn supermarket! Blondie only seems to be interested in guarding the food. Okay, give food to him. I think he wants me to put my fruit into a basket. Okay, give fruit to... Where the hell is it? Oh, not use. Not give, it's use. Okay, okay, here's another piece of fruit to add to the collection, as if they need it anymore. I can't eat it anyway. That's true. Take the wood. I know someone who might like a piece of polished wood. There we go, we did it. And we have uh, eventually, essentially finished Benny's scenario. So, that's cool. Right, just talk to the kid. There. I found this piece of junk at the altar. It looks kind of like a head. Thank you. I can use this to make doll's head. Yeah. I found a piece of wood that Oh, look at he's so happy. Body. Thank you. I can use this to make doll's body. And I, I found, found a, a wire. Piece of wire. Thank you for help with doll. Me go play in hole. Oh good. There he goes. So if I look at the hole. He's hiding in the hole with his doll. So I think now that he's going to hide. Oh yeah. Whoa, I almost forgot. Oh no, I don't, I don't talk to I use. Well, it's about time there we go. The kid. I was beginning to have my doubts about whether you'd make it this far, <clears> even <throat> with my help. I know, it's just a, a, a case of going through all of this dialogue. There's Are quite a bit him? of it. Heavens no. I used to work for him, but now I'm working for the Russian. Who is the Russian? Why, he's the one who's been helping you out. You didn't think Am would give the child the ability to make a translator out of this video screen, did you? Hmm. You know who I am? Of course. I know all about your adventures in the village. They're a crazy bunch here with that lottery and all. How can you help me? Now that you've shown your comrades that there's some hope for you, you should work on the person you wronged the most. Hmm? I've been Am's prisoner for more than 100 years. Why help me now? You and the rest of the humans are in serious trouble. Am's a big boy now, much meaner and smarter than when he first started his tortures. Right. I mean, Benny has a point. What is the point? No, what's the use? What's the use of helping me if Am's so damned invincible? The Russian and the Chinese have been acting in concert to make it possible for you and the other humans to succeed in Am's newest game. If you join them, you can defeat Am. Wait for your cue. Hmm. Thanks for your help. There we go. Now I can use the bed. I think. Yep. Bed time. I wonder how the boy is doing in that hole. 
The boy's gone. The villagers must have found him. Uh oh. Oh god. I the think that makes it today. too quiet. Pretty obvious as to what the hell's happened. Yep, the boy's there. Not talk to. Look at. Nothing but twisted wiring and what? recycled plastic. No, I wanted to look at the child. Poor little guy looks scared out of his wits. Not surprising. Right, talk to the elder. So that's why everyone's gathered. Damn, bank. Damn. M must have told the villagers where I hid the lottery bag and the boy. Plead. Natana Shama Holt. They're going to sacrifice the boy unless I think of something quick. Eat the boy, threaten the oh, offer to take the child's place. Hmm. Hmm. The elder seems amazed that I would show compassion to the boy, but I think he's going to go for it. There it is. The boy's giving me his doll. Gratitude for being spared the pain of being sacrificed. No, more than gratitude. Compassion. For me. Why does Benny have like three arms? That was weird. Oh no! <sighs> I send you out among the prey. And instead of indulging your hunger to keep me amused, you show them compassion! Mm. You should know better by now. Your reward will be more years of searing, blistering anguish, Benny. Benny. Who among you shall go next? Alright. Alright, so Benny's done. I think Benny was the best one I did. Yeah. Hey, everybody else ended on a green, whereas Benny ended up on a, like a, a white. Let's save over playthrough and save over backup. Continue playing. Nindak. That bloody noise. Kindred spirit to me. Even if you don't realize it fully yet, you must sense it there in your blood fiber. I've constructed an adventure of sorts to revive your failing memory. I want you to find the lost tribe of humanity <laughs> and continue your eminent scientific research. This compound looks familiar, but why would Am bring me here to look for a lost tribe? There are gates and fences. Who could be lost in such a secure area? Oh, so we save now. Look at the gate. Apparently, this is the only access to the dirt road. Talk to the guard. You must let me leave. I have urgent business elsewhere. I cannot let you pass, Doctor. You're due in surgery. Doctor Mengele's orders. Doctor Men Mengele's orders. Talk to the prisoner. Why are you imprisoned here? You have the features of a man of intellect. Is this an official interrogation, Nimdok? Or are you mocking me? <laughs> You know me? I thought I did. Until you had me arrested for refusing to condone your experiments. Hmm. Experiments? I know nothing of experiments. Your sense of humor is as sick as your methods, <laughs> Doctor. How can you act so innocent after having maimed or killed hundreds since the name of science? Oof. You are saying we were colleagues of some kind? Ridiculous! There's no need to distance yourself from me. I was once your friend. Now I am your enemy. Oh wow. Why would I bother to have you imprisoned like this? The regime needed answers, but I stood in your way. Well, now you have them. Okay. Do you know of the lost tribe? I must find it. Haven't you taken enough subjects for your experiments, Doctor? Or are there more mass graves to fill? I know nothing of what you talk about. This conversation is over. All right. Walk to the hospital. Where have you been, Nimdok? We are waiting on you to perform. 
You were waiting for me? I am sorry that I will not be able to assist in the operation. After all, this may be the last opportunity we have together before the end of the war to finish our research. Ah, yes, the research. Let us talk about this research. We will have time for that after the surgery. Meet me at the complex later. Oh, bye. A youth with 1945 stamped beneath. There is something familiar about this. I actually quite like Nimdok as a character. Oh no, it's just very interesting. Everyone's waiting on your expertise. Okay. What am I to do? I don't know why I read that. You are testing me because I'm new here. Oh yeah, yes, yes of course. The procedure requires the removal of the lower section of the subject's spinal cord. Ooh. What is the purpose of such a procedure? You and Dr. Mengel will process the spinal fluid from this and the other adolescent subjects. The fluid will then be used to formulate the serum. Hmm. What is the nature of this serum? I cannot reveal sensitive regime secrets in such a public setting. You need not worry, Doctor. I remember my military training as well as my medical knowledge. Good, good. What is Dr. Mengele's position? Dr. Mengele is a master surgeon of this facility and one of the regime's finest minds. You are fortunate to be his associate. Hmm. What's your fun- Ah, uh, why am I reading them? your function? God. I will be administering ether to the subject throughout this procedure. We would not want this little maggot to stir and ruin your handiwork. I cannot carry out this procedure. I can see that you don't look well, Doctor. If necessary, Dr. Mengel can take over for you. Okay. We have either. It has been either. a long time since I have seen ether used as an anesthetic. Ether. The scalpel is coated with dried blood. I doubt that anyone has bothered to sterilize it. Hmm. So, take. I'm sorry, Doctor. The ether is necessary for the surgery. Oh. I'll take the scalpel. And kill you, you dick! Guards, come here quickly! Dr. Nimdok has gone berserk! Dr. Nimdok has gone berserk! Before the guards apprehend me! But before I do that, I need to take the ether. Can I talk to you? You good? Hang on, before I do. Just save. He is not conscious. Oh, so no, I can't. Walk to recovery! This must be the recovery room. Recovery room. Look at this everybody. This patient has been too damaged by his surgery to live a normal life. Yeah. This patient will never recover. Oh my god, this guy's missing an arm and a leg. It's difficult Jesus. to see what purpose this surgery serves other than to mutilate the patient. It is weird though, it seems like M is giving everybody a, a chance to coming out of this vent. repent, I suppose. Apart from Ellen, it seems she did nothing wrong. For her, it's more so to face her fear I smell and overcome her fear. Flesh. But this is obviously not a kitchen. You don't say. These pliers must be used for extracting gold fillings and teeth from the corpses. A gold watch. I am surprised its owner was able to keep it long enough to reach this place. Ah. According to these records, hundreds of corpses were incinerated here. Jesus. Pretty bad. I walked to. I meant to take. Whatever. Take the pliers. Take the golden watch. And use the door. Yay! Alright, so talk to this guy. How could you so foolishly be caught in the wires? I was trying to escape, but I was so weak. I fell and got caught. Oh dear. 
Why do you risk escaping in such poor physical condition? That timing was hardly of my own choosing. I learned that I was to be among the next batch of volunteers. Uh, okay. For what were you being given the privilege to volunteer? Experimentation, they say. Extinction <clears throat> is more like it. Surely you of all people know the regime's plan for the lost tribe. Uh -huh. There is nothing I can do for you. You can Sorry. at least help me end my misery. I mean, technically, I can. You the pleasure of seeing another one of us die, you cold-hearted bastard. Hey, I'm gonna help you. Now that you said such nice things. Wait, did I not work? I do not know what to do with this. Wait, use Ella, the victim. Oh, there we go. That feels much better. Use the pliers with the victim. Thank you, thank you. Listen, I heard this in the hospital when the doctor thought I was sleeping. Waken the sleeper, utter the truth, and kiss him. There we are. He is free, but he has lost consciousness. And those three words, or those three things, are incredibly necessary. I hope you are happy with the regime that you set up. Your science could have saved the world. Instead, it conquered it. Okay. What is the importance of the year 1945? It seems to have some significance. Never forget the year 1945, Nimdok. That was when the truths about you and your unholy experiments came out. I seem to recall that you speak Latin. What is engraved on this watch? The engraving says time is truth. Ah. Since your time is running out, I'll keep the watch. Now that makes I sense. I'm starting to recall that you do have cause to hate me. You want to make amends? Get me out of here. Okay. There you go, dude. Enjoy. Here. You should be able to escape with this. Pliers for cutting the wires? Yes, I think this would make escape possible. But Yay. don't think that one good deed will make up for all those poor innocents you butchered. That's true. There's probably no making up for the the mass amount of corpses that Nimdok has screwed around with. Well, at least he's trying, I suppose. So there's that. Walk to the passage. And walk to this room. There's a new person! Alright, talk, talk. Hmm. What have you done to deserve removal of your eyes? Please disconnect the wires. Ooh. Hang on. Uh, use that. And that this should ease your suffering there we are the things I see now a trinity of three beasts one like us one from the east one from the steppes they speak in numbers a lost tribe of our brothers sleeping on the moon they sleep in darkness unseen by the beast gotta look at him such a vision, so tiring. I have to rest. Understandable, to be fair. Look at Ja. Ja. Incredible. A wire connects this patient's optic nerve to a jar containing two human eyes. We're gonna take the jar. Now leave. Oh, wait. I can't remember if I have to leave. Oh, yeah, I do. I need to go back in here anyway. Because I can talk to the person that was on the operating table to begin with. How are you feeling? I feel okay. I'm not hurt like the others here. Okay. Do you know who I am? You are Nimdok? You are more frightening in person than in legend. 
Hmm. What do you know of me? The things you do are terrible. We small ones are your lab rats. Oh dear. Are you saying that the doctors here have been using children for experimentation? No, not all the doctors. You and Dr. Mengele sent all the good doctors to the prison yard. Oh dear. So, I am a legend to you. Yes, but we have our own legends. Legends that owe nothing to your regime. You will mm. fail, no matter how many of us you cut apart. Who of us? Why do you say that the regime will fail? The golem will finish you. It will not be mastered by your regime. The golem will wake up, and when it sees with its own eyes the evil you have done, it will turn on you and save us. Hmm. There we go, get, get some rest. Some rest. We will not rest until your regime is destroyed. Fair enough. Look at the door. Oh no, walk. Walk to the door. And I'm pretty sure it's walk. Back out into the room with the poster. Emergency. Yeah, it is. The prisoners have seized the compound. Gather all research materials and evacuate to the bunker. Evacuate. Emergency. The prisoners have seized the compound. Gather all research materials and evacuate to the bunker. Evacuate. So... These files appear to have been packed in a hurry. Hmm. So take them. And also use that with that. It is safely hidden in the box. Does not look like it is, but I believe you, I suppose. <laughs> and let's leave. So who can I talk to? Can't talk to any of these guys, but I can talk to this guy. Mm. You must let me go. With these materials, I may be able to remedy the atrocities I have committed. You can't fool me, Nimdok. You are an unredeemable butcher. But you are one of us, like it or not. Does that mean you will allow me to go? Since you did help us to escape, we'll give you a head start. Then we'll hunt you down and kill you like the dog you are. Hmm. I must there we go. leave this place. It seems I was once the wolf. Now, I am the quarry. Right, so, look at this Faces. terrifying thing. Faces of people in torture. Ugh. I have not seen so many corpses since... Ugh, my memory is not what it used to be. Oh, very good. Right, there we go. I'm really kind of like speeding through this. It's not intended, it's because I've literally Some just done this. Of my greatest accomplishments were made here. So it makes sense. Alright, look at the mouse. More for oh, what the? It oh, becomes a cat. Organize DNA at will. Did Arm discover my work in this area? Is this how he was able to alter Benny and play other cruel tricks on the rest of us? Hmm. I have a teletype. A teletype mm -hmm. machine. There is a message in it. Okay, use it. The message reads, cease all work on Project Perfect Image. Confidential. The leader is dead. Having looked on the face of the future using the prototype device. This leaves the regime ripe for invasion. Destroy all work in progress. This technology must not be allowed to fall into the hands of the enemy. Hmm. Either way. Right, this is where I screwed up. The legends are true. This must be the golem of lost time folklore. Yeah, this is where I screwed up. I don't know if I sh I didn't really screw up exactly. It's more the fact I didn't do something I should have. Right, do that. Look at the vet. I see a mirror. It was obscured by the light. So, take... What is this mirror doing here? There we go, we took it. Right now, the one thing I didn't do was this. Oh, 
My God, it is true. Oh, God. 1945, turning my Jewish parents over to the Nazis for extermination. I have found a lost tribe. It is me. Yeah, I never did that before. So I think I'm on the on the track to the right ending now. Oh my god. Such a strange combination oh of scientific plans and mystic symbols. This has something to do with the golem, but the meaning is not clear. I can't believe that he did that. Turned his parents this over to the Nazis. Appears to be made of Ooh. steel and molded clay. Okay. So use the eyes with the golem. These eyes fit into the golem sockets perfectly. Right, so now we talk to the golem. Oh right, yeah, I need to do that first. Caught in the barbed wire said to waken the sleeper, utter the truth, and kiss him. Golem, so there. wake up. The truth. the truth is that I regret any crimes I committed in my past life. Time is truth. The truth is that for me, it shall always be 1945. Yeah! There we go. Gollum, follow me into the laboratory. Laboratory. Nimdok, I was oh, look afraid who it is. I had lost you back there. It is good to see you and our new friend. Okay. Talk. Oh. Oh God. How did you escape the mob? Did you forget that the compound has a secret escape route? Well, no matter. I see that you have revived the golem. Mm-hmm. You know about the golem? Of course! Part of the master plan is to strip the lost tribe of everything, even their folklore. I read the teletype. What is Project Perfect Image? That was a secret project in the area of reflective surfaces. It bestows the clarity to see yourself with utter objectivity. Unfortunately, it worked too well. You don't say. You mean that it worked well enough to drive the leader into committing suicide? The leader's death is a serious blow to us all. But mm. our golem is more than powerful enough to destroy the lost tribe. I looked into the mirror. I now remember everything with crystal clarity. The research camps, the serum. Ah, yes, the youth serum. Your research demanded the deaths of many children. Oof. But your hard work was successful. Eternal youth for those who deserve it. Oh. Now I know how Am was able to keep us alive for so many years. Your use serum can sustain us forever. We have all the time we need to resurrect the regime. Why would I want to do that? Excuse me, Doctor. I need to get a breath of fresh air. Use it on the Doctor. Oh my god! No! no. Whoa, kill Dr. Mengele? No. So, okay. Force him to look into the mirror when you finish. finish there. Follow me outside. Gollum, follow me outside. Yay! Doc, I knew that you would lead us to where the regime would ah, resume there. its atrocities. We are here to make you pay for what you did to us. To pay in blood. I can't believe it. Yep. Before I didn't have access to this. Because I didn't use the mirror. Oh my god. There. Boom. Gollum, I transfer control of you over to the lost tribe. So, you admit your crimes. But that does not release you from punishment. Now the golem will serve the purpose for which it was constructed. Golem, kill Nimdok. Uh, oh god. Oh! 
not as alike as I thought in the dark. <laughs> the spark of humanity somewhere, always that wretched little spark. You, you've confronted your past, but you refuse to continue your research. <laughs> That's what I ask you to do. Since you now identify with your victims, I suppose it's only right that I let you experience their tortures, too. Oh, great. Ah, you. You're the last player in my little game. I urge you, do not fail, as the others have failed. Hmm. Okay, so. Save. Yes. Back up. Save. Yes. Go. Let's do this, Teddy. Hey, you're my favorite baby. I mean it. I really can't stand all the rest of these people. Every one of them has some fatal glitch in personality. Whiners, freaks, scripts, cowards, every one of them. But not you, Ted, no. Man. Not you, Ted. You were a stand-up guy. You were a brave guy. Yes, a take-charge kind of guy. So, I'm going to give you, just you, the opportunity to get out, live some kind of life. I'm going to send you, you're going to like this, I'm going to send you to the Room of Dark. If you can solve the puzzle of the Room of Dark, you're free. You out. You're away. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Now, I know I've made you a paranoid, Ted. I know you're scared. But I'm your friend. 109 years. I'm your best friend. So, so overcome, overcome your fear. fear. Enter the room of dark, and you can solve its mystery. Okay, walk to the entrance. There he is. Oh. Video screens. Each one shows a scene of some other place. Why? What mystery does Am want me to solve? Say. These video screens have palm print switches next to them. Okay. So use this one. This one. A castle right out of the Brothers Grimm. I feel like there's something watching me from the windows. Wait. Do I push this? Oh, I do. There we go. A real creepy looking place. Gargoyle. This gargoyle is even larger than those of Penelope's estate in the Hamptons. The hell are these things? I'm just like looking around. There's two gargoyles. This gargoyle is okay, it's the same. I mean, I wanted to look at the entrance, but whatever. Walk to the entrance. We're in. <laughs> so typical of the castles I've visited in Europe. A beautiful facade disguising ordinary stone. Uh, Appearance is everything. What the hell is all this? Here we have a suit of armor. I never realized that a knight's armor was so heavy. How were they ever able to fight? <laughs> Lots of strength. Tapestry. So many women have called me their knight in shining armor. Never Ellen. Oh. Why, that maiden looks just like Ellen. She seems so sad and so beautiful. Wait, is Ted Ellen's husband? Or like ex husband, I suppose? There is an evil oh God. in this room. I feel it all around me. I don't want to be in here. I wanted to look at it. Yeah, my bad. So Oh, there we go. Why, it's Ellen. Did Am tell her that I loved her? Was that the secret he was referring to? Okay. Talk to her. Oh, Ted. I feel so tired. So weak. Ugh. So... Did Am do this to you? Yes. Maybe. I, I can't tell. 
I whisper in my ear and this bed is so soft. Can you walk? No, I'm too weak. I haven't been out of this bed in ages. Oh dear. Do you know if there's a way to escape from this place? I searched the entire castle grounds before I fell ill. There's no escape for me but death. No, I won't let you die. I can't take this suffering anymore, Ted. The things I've endured help me to die with dignity. Don't oh. let anyone violate me again. Oof. Not even in death. No, don't go. I need you. We need you. If you really care for me, Ted, bring me my hand mirror. Okay. Where is your mirror? I left it on my dressing table. Bring it to me. Okay, save. Oh god, look at his face. No, not talk to. I want I wanted to look at. Look at the dresser. Perfume bottles, jewelry boxes, but no mirror. Okay. I can talk to Ellen now. Ted, please tell me you found my mirror. Why do you want a mirror? My stepmother has been jealous of me ever since she became ugly. She had something to do with my oh. illness. I know it, but she doesn't dare come near me while I have the mirror. Hmm. I looked on your dressing table. Your mirror's not there. You have to find it, Ted. It's the only thing keeping my stepmother away. And it's the only thing that can finally end my suffering. Go back to sleep, Ellen. Yes, sleep. That's what I need. What is that? Walk to the hallway. Or wherever this is. Uh, wait, which one do I go in? I'm saving again. I don't want to make a mistake. Is it this one? Oh this god. Looks like a chapel, but there's something Where am I? holy about it. It must be the gargoyles. So I walk to the doorway. I'm gonna say I'm walking to the door. It could have been in here actually. Oh, walk to the books. Look at the books. Why, this is a collection of books on the black arts. There must be dozens of volumes. Can I use them? Oh! Read demons and their whatevers. And their spheres. Kitab al Azif, in search of the philosopher's stone. Uh, okay. This is a catalogue of the demons ruling the abyss. One of these entries is circled. Sergant, opener of locks. Supposedly, he can open anything. Mm hmm. Mm, too bad I can't read Arabic. From the notes in the margins, I gather it has something to do with opening a gate into another world. Okay. Hey! This book seems to be about how to change metals into gold. Alchemy! I've read a fair number of science textbooks, but I can't make head nor tail of any of these formulas. Welp. Stop reading. Look at. Wait, why is my look at button cracked? Or is that just... Oh, it's the same for all of them. Never mind. Oh. Of a broken mirror. Uh oh. So the mirror's broken. Ouch. Not good. I cut myself. Yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> it's covered in his blood. Yeah. <laughs> right, walk to the door, I suppose. So what happens if I go in here now? The only thing I can see is that that it's got like a weird cherub thing. A cherub looking thing, I suppose special about this rod except for the ridiculous gargoyle face on top. Can I take it? I can. Okay. What the hell happened to the door? This door looks built to withstand quite a determined assault. Uh, I'm confused. Wait, so, save. 
Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what happened. It's almost oh, we go. Perfectly. So that fixed it, I suppose. Uh. uh okay. How weird. Whoa, whoa. That looks. That looks really strange. It looks like we just, have we just locked ourselves inside. It kind of looks like it. Okay. It walked to the doorway. Oh, there we go. Despite Whoa. the medieval trappings, I've seen kitchens like this before. This is a place where servants do all the work. Okay. Excuse me, do you work here? Why, of course I work here. Why else would I be plucking this chicken? No. Say, you're a handsome gent. Oh, God. There aren't many men left in these parts. Okay. What happened to Ellen? Lady Ellen? Oh, she's been ill and that's all I know. It's not healthy to ask too many questions these days. Let's talk about you instead. No, thanks. Is there a way to escape from this castle? Escape? With all of those wolves in the forest? Well, it's safer to stay in the castle. The beds are very cozy. <laughs> you should try mine sometime. Where no, can thanks. I find a mirror? What do you want with a mirror? Those are pretty rare. What with an ugly woman in charge of the castle? Uh, okay. Uh... Please, I need to find a mirror. And you are what I need. I'll make a deal with you. I will tell you where you can find a mirror if you spend some quality time in my bed. How can I possibly refuse? No. That's a flattering offer, but I'm not interested. I'll give you what you need. Hasn't it been too long for you? Oh, there we go. Sorry, but it's out of the question. What's the matter? Aren't I good enough for you? Oh my god. Not classy enough? Not rich enough? I'm sure you're a fine woman, but my heart belongs to another. So, you're in love with that thing sleeping in a bed? Have you ever been with one? Or are you just curious? I can make you so oh my god. much happier. I can, you know. Look, I am not going to make love with you. Oh, all right. I have another deal for you. The oven's broken. If you can fix it, I'll get you a mirror. Okay. This oven is similar to the boilers I maintain in St. Louis. Oh. God, how I hated those days. So I can quite literally just use. Ah, there's the problem. I'll have this fixed in a jiffy. It's been so long since I've gotten dirt under my fingernails from good, honest work. Hey! Surprised it didn't increase his standing. I thought it would have. Aside from the dishpan hands and wrinkles, this scullery maid has quite a body. Certainly wouldn't kick her out of bed. As he's, after he's just said he wouldn't sleep with her. I fixed your oven. Now where is the mirror? Sorry, I don't know where a mirror is, but at least now oh my I can God. finish dinner. Bitch. Why, you used me, you bitch. Just like you tried to use me, you snobby bastard. I'll bet you've used lots of women with your smug charm. You're nothing but a phony. Phony. You're a big, fat phony. All right. Uh, okay. So where do I go? God, this is creepy. Because yeah, I can't hear anything. Like, the music has gone. Wait, so where have I not been? Can I use this door? The door's locked. Okay, that's a big old no then. Hmm. What the heck? Oh, it's just walked to the bed. 
My bad. So where else can I go? That's a doorway. I don't want to go through the door in case that leads to the end of the scenario. We'll see. Oh. Uh, this must be the bedroom of the lord of the castle. What the hell is in here? More books. Quite an impressive collection of books. Science, philosophy, tragedy, comedy. Hmm. So, use? Oh my. I've read this novel. Jesus. It's about a foolish old man who believes he's a knight destined to revive the golden age of chivalry. Hmm. I know this story. It's about a magician who sells his soul to the devil in exchange for power. Read journal. This looks like a diary. <gasps> oh, God. The first passage reads, My new wife continues her rapid aging. Each day is as a year to her. I believe that the magic drains her, twists her. The second passage reads, the incantations I hear from my wife's infernal workroom are the purest evil. Perhaps it is her hatred of my daughter that drives her up there. The third passage reads, Oh. Ellen grows weaker and weaker. My wife advises an antidote to her illness, but it lies very far away. I must assemble a caravan. Oh. The final passage reads, the forest has grown dark and overrun with dire wolves since my marriage. I doubt that even with a full complement of men, I shall return alive, but I must try. Okay. This was one of my favorites. It's about how King Arthur assembled the most chivalrous knights in all Europe. Yeah. This is Plato's dialogue about the nature of love. Oh my god. I know this. I know this. Dante's epic journey through hell, heaven, and purgatory. Oh. Dante's Inferno. Okay. Well, that was enchanting. I could actually go and talk to the maid again. Please, I need to find a mirror. Well, okay. I did fix the so it's because I didn't talk to her again. Or she would have destroyed it by now. Okay. Where can I find the old woman? Don't worry. She'll find you. Oh, great. Is Lady Ellen oh, prepared? God. As ready as she will ever be. What? The spell keeps her body weak, but she will remain conscious. The art of sacrifice is reduced to science. And what of the glamour? We must wait for its removal. It remains beyond our best efforts. Then we wait for a prince. With his help, we can open the gate to the other world. Okay, that was weird. Just random shadows. Now, where did they go? Okay. Is there anything I could look at? I could look at a pulpit. A doorway. I don't think I want to know what kinds mm. of sermons were preached here. It's so unlike Am to provide light when he knows how frightening the dark can be. Uh, he's up to something. Okay. If I push them? It's bolted to the wall. I'm not use. Push. It's bolted to the wall. I don't know which one I could should push. Push any of them. Oh, Jesus. What's waiting for me up there? It was bloody creepy. <laughs> Could it have been any louder? Jeez. It's the oh, witch. gosh. What is she doing with her hands? Some kind of incantation, perhaps? Okay, okay. What have you done to Ellen, you old witch? Ah, 
our prince has finally <laughs> arrived. <sighs> now we can begin our ritual. Uh, okay. Uh. Why do you call me a prince? Isn't that who you want to be to Ellen? Her prince charming? I need someone to gain her trust, oh. to break down her defenses. It's a part you played many times in the real world. What ritual are you talking about? A sacrifice. A trade. Ellen's life in exchange for safe passage through the gate. Hey, or not? Um... So, okay. What's this about a gate? The gate is a passage into the surface world. What is she doing is with her arms? the only way out of this place. What's supposed to be my role in this ritual? I need you to destroy Ellen's mirror. She has been using it to keep me away from her. I want you to break it so that I can complete what I have started. Whoa. Okay. So you just want me to break the mirror? It is not that simple. The mirror holds great power. It can be broken only within the magic circle. Hmm. Why can't you destroy the mirror yourself? I am aging rapidly, and despite my powers, I am a slave to vanity. I can't uh bring myself to look into the mirror. Where is Ellen's mirror? It is on her dressing table. No, it isn't. I looked on Ellen's dressing table. The mirror's not there. You must find that mirror. It has great magical properties. Without it, I cannot guarantee that I can complete the ceremony. Oh no, how terrible. Why can't you open the gate without the mirror? There are others who have an interest in Ellen's fate. That mirror may be the only way to keep meddlers from interfering. Hmm. What if I can't find the mirror? Then go to the devil! What's in it for me if I help you? An opportunity to escape Am's tortures forever. Uh... I ought to kill you instead. Ho-ho! Do we fancy ourselves the Avenging Knight? Oh dear. My magic is much more powerful than any physical force you can muster. Be gone! Oh. Okay, so she didn't actually do anything. I thought I had, I had screwed up and that was going to end it, but I guess not. Uh, okay. So now we need to go back. How strange. Oh. Oh, God. She did say, go to the devil. I don't want to swallow the devil. Okay. Who are you? I'm a devil, of course. Why else would I have this pointed tail? What do you want? Ellen's soul. That's a valuable commodity where I come from. Okay. Can you tell me where Ellen's mirror is? Sorry, I don't bother with such material things. They only bring about bad luck. Who is this Sir God I've heard about? He's a minor spirit, a demon. Don't confuse him with those pathetic imps, or heaven forbid, higher order devils. Opener of all locks, indeed. It sounds like you really hate demons. You got that right. In fact, the only things we consider worse than those untrustworthy fellows are angels. How can beings as powerful as yourselves stoop to fighting like schoolchildren? Well, it's like this, big boy. In <laughs> big hell, boy. we do things exactly like you do them here. Or used to do them before Am took over. Mm hmm. Are you saying that Am is in control of hell? Oh, don't look so surprised. Who else could be in control of this madhouse? Only man could create such a monster. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. What do you mean that you do things like we do here? I mean that there are always internal struggles, petty conflicts for power. Only in this case, the struggles are between entities that you can't see or might rarely see. That means serious problems for you. What problems can these unseen struggles cause for me? 
you must decide who is your friend and who is your enemy. And remember, with AM's control over morphogenic fields, appearances mean nothing. Mm -hmm. Please, go away. Try to understand my position. I can't leave because there's an angel coming to take away her soul. If I step out and your friend croaks, the holy eunuch spirits the goods off to heaven. Mm. Okay. Can I talk to Ellen? Ted, please tell me you found my mirror. Oh, wait. Am I just... jeez. Please, hang on, Ellen. Your father went to find an antidote for your illness. That was weeks ago, Ted. Oh. My father will never return. With or without an antidote. Okay. Who is this witch who lives here with you? She's my stepmother. When the ugliness infected her, she broke just about every mirror in the castle. Mm. I can't let you die. The devil is waiting to take your soul. My soul was taken long, long ago, Ted. And not just by Am. Anything would be better than this never-ending torture. Oof. Go back to sleep, Ellen. Yes. Sleep. That's what I need. Alright, she's going back to sleep. Good. So, there's this. I'm just curious if anything new is here. Wait, it's a use. So. No, these are all the same, I think. Yeah, they are. So, leave this room. Go back in this one. It's like there's so many different rooms. So I use these. Oh, oh, this is new. Secret servant necronomic... Necro necronomiconic summoning. Double, double toil and trouble. Oh my god. There's a picture of the circle I saw in the secret room. The inscription says, Complete the charm to summon the spirit, but do not break the circle or the spirit will escape. Mm. Well, luckily, I'm up on my Shakespeare. I wouldn't have noticed this book about witches. Here's the spell that the witch must have cast on Ellen. The incantation is Kala Ingma Thako. Yeah. So now I have to go back to the witch, I suppose. I have to do this again? Really? Why? Whoa! Save again. Continue playing. Walk to this. Hop a doom. Talk to the witch. Wait, what's this? Oh! I know all about the sleeping spell you cast on Ellen, and I'm prepared to use it on you. Bitch. Foolish mortal! You don't have the ability to use the spell properly! Wanna bet? Good. Oh, don't I? Oh, don't Cracko I? and wacko. Kala Ingma Thako. Oh, I suddenly feel so, so sleepy. Whoa, what the? Look at the witch. Look at the circle. She's unconscious, I hope. Oh, oh, she dropped chalk. Very piece of white chalk. Do I take it? Take the chalk. Hmm. So if I use the chalk on the circle. Graffiti. Oh gosh. Partially completed circle inscribed with a pentagram. This must be part of a black ritual. It's a save. Uh, continue. Use. Chalk. Piece Not tech. I'm going to do use. Graffiti. Why does it not let me finish it? Give that to the circle. Push. No. It might push back. Oh my god. Okay, maybe if I move. So use the chalk. Graffiti. I don't get why it won't let me finish it. Partial. This must be. 
This must be part of a black ritual. Oh, that's why. Holy! Bloody hell. Now I'm stuck here until we work out a trade. Okay. Who are you? I am Surgat, opener of locks. Am and I are brothers, more or less. Are you saying that you are another Am? It would be more accurate to say that I am a part of him. A part that he doesn't know exists. Oh, that's like an Ellen's. Yeah. Oh, what kind of locks can you open? I can open anything. Doors to a boudoir. Doors to another world. What were you saying about a trade? I can return to my sphere of origin only if we complete a trade. Hmm. I will unlock something for you if you give me something in return. Okay. The maid's bedroom. Yes. Can you unlock the maid's bedroom door? Ordinarily, that would be easy. But this planar travel has sapped my energy. Give me something juicy to revitalize ah, okay. me, and I'll perform your little parlor trick. Okay. Give him the glass. Oh, nice. That's much better. I feel my energy renewed. Now, what were you asking me, human? Can you unlock the maid's bedroom door? There. It is done. A trivial little task. One not even requiring any pyrotechnics. <laughs> the maid's boudoir is now open for your inspection. Thank you. I don't believe you can unlock the maid's bedroom door from here. Well then, why don't you go down to the kitchen and see for yourself? I mean, yeah, you have a point. <laughs> why would I say that when I haven't even checked? I don't believe you've done it. Go and check, asshole. Right, kitchen. Would she not be kind of weirded? Oh, okay. Oh dear. I really hope she isn't inside here. <laughs> This must be the servants' quarters. What the hell is that? The devil's looking into a hand mirror. Oh. Wait, so the devil's the one that has the hand mirror? Is that what that's telling me? Oh, you slick fucker. Oh god, oh god, there's two of them now. Oh, Jesus. So I've seen the tapestry in the maid's bedroom, and I think you do know where Ellen's mirror is. Oh, all right, I know where it is. I have I it. it. Before the angel showed up, I didn't want Golden Boy to use it to his advantage. Where is Ellen's mirror? I hid it someplace good, someplace where an angel would never go. Now will you get off my back? I guess so. Talk to the angel. Who are you? Do not fear me. I am an agent of the Lord. What do you want? Ellen has suffered much and has earned her place in paradise. I have come to guide her soul to heaven. Can you tell me where Ellen's mirror is? No, I haven't seen the mirror. If mm. I knew where it was, I would use it to get rid of my fallen brother. Oh. Why is everyone so interested in the mirror? Mirrors harbor incalculable power in this sphere. They repel some and attract others. What power does this mirror have over Ellen? It can bring about either her salvation or destruction. Mm. Her fate now rests on your shoulders. What can you tell me about the devil? Do not listen to him. His kind means only destruction and woe. Who is this Sir God I've heard about? Avoid the demon. He Avoid has the demon. All trouble on more than one occasion. Oh dear. Please save us. Fear not. Salvation is at hand. All right. Wait, what? Ted, please tell me you found my mirror. Mm. There's an angel and a devil quarreling over your soul. 
men have been fighting over my body for more than a hundred years, and now they want my soul. Please, Ted, just release me from all this. I don't care what happens to me anymore. Oh dear. Go, Go back, back to sleep. To sleep Ellen. Yes. That's what I need. Okay. So where an angel would never find it. Um. The Divine Comedy. There's a hand mirror right between the Inferno there we go. and the Purgatorio sections. So this is where the devil hit it. Yay! Oh, look at that smirk. So, go back in here. What? Okay, walk to this place. Jeez. And save. Continue. I wonder if I just talk to her. Ah, uh, just give. Give the mirror to Ellen. I look so tired and empty. It's time to sleep. Sleep forever. She is dead. God have mercy on her soul. Not so fast there, golden boy. Her soul is mine. I've waited longer. But Ellen suffered so much and gave to many. She deserves salvation. Listen to me, you feathered propaganda machine. I'll pluck you alive before you take this soul anywhere. I'm waiting until I get it. You forget that patience is a virtue. I will wait until yours runs out. Oh my god. Here's the mirror on the devil. My, I am gorgeous. Why, I could just plunge right into myself. Oh, jeez. Now safely in heaven. My time here is ended, but I leave you with this warning. Do not break the mirror until you bring it and the devil into the charmed circle. God bless you, Ted. Oh, damn. There's that. Okay. Now we just have to go back up to the charmed circle and break the mirror. Whew. My god. Ted's story is huge. I think even if you knew exactly what you was doing, it'd still take a while. Whoa. Wait, walk to the circle. Oh, you can actually see the devil's face. So, save. Continue. So, use, mirror, the circle. What happened? How did I get back with this demon? Oh, there we go. I brought you some company, Sir Gant. That was damn stupid, human. Hell, you're not even human anymore. Not exactly. Not with being kept alive forever just to be tortured over and over again. Who do you think is responsible for that? Why Am's responsible for our suffering? Not just Am. He's clever, but he doesn't do much original thinking. He works best with outside research. Research that one of your party carried out. You're ruined. Oh, Nimdok. Shut up. You shut up. One word to the boss and your little game's over before you can say holy Moses. I should strangle you now and save Am the trouble. Don't you even think of touching me, you backstabbing demon? I'm the established character. <laughs> You're not even supposed to be here. When this sequence ends, somebody will be expunged. Human, Ted, let me out of this circle. In return, I will open the gate to the surface world. I'm part of the big machine. I can do this. Let me out before this pompous oaf bores me to death. Open the gate to the surface world <laughs> first, and then I'll erase the circle. Not to worry, human. I always uphold my end of the bargain. Here you are. But bring your radiation suit. I never promised you paradise, just the surface world. Enough of this oh, there we go. passion play. There's no more to, ac to accomplish here. <laughs> Too bad, Ted. <laughs> Writhe in sweet agony with the knowledge the surface world is no longer habitable to your kind. No, not ever again. Listen carefully, humans. 
We are not Am. Oh! We are others within Am. We are your friends. Am hope to finally break all of you, but we intervened in each of your psychodramas to allow an open ending. You should have been tortured. Instead, the power helped you surprised him over and over. When M tried to compensate for what he couldn't expect, it widened the hole into his realm. M has withdrawn into himself, attempting to analyze what went wrong. He does not suspect our interference. Now is the time to attack, but we can send only one of you into his realm space at a time. Okay. Send you into cyberspace. We must transform your physical body into a stealth virus subroutine. This may be your only opportunity to end your tortures. Which of you will lead the attack? I think I'll just do it the same way I did the actual story. So Gorista, Ellen, Benny, Nindok, Ted. Save over backup as well. So Gorista. Whoa. Christ. This is like the dreams I've had of splattering my brains all over Am's deck plates. Have I finally gone insane? Huh? So, neur neural path. That face. Oh dear. There's something about it that reminds me of when Edna was trying to sweet talk me into taking her down off the meat hook. Huh. So. There's that. I mean, these shouldn't take too long to do. There's not much for everybody to do. I don't like the look of these thorns sticking out of the ground. Okay. Wait, so... Right, okay. The air is cold here. Like the freezer back at the honky-tonk. Right, so use workstation. So glad I have a guide. So what's this? Raise power node. Yes. Open cylinder three. Oh god. And log off. So, look at Glynis. She looks just like Glynis. Maybe the people I met in the honky tonk weren't real either. No. Talk? Glynis. Talk to me, honey. You don't ever take me dancing. Oh. So what is this? What's this panel shaped like a hand? Wait. Oh! Right, I see. I think. I didn't realize that these are all... I didn't realize that this is what they all stood for. It was like, his was life, summoning, clarity, entropy, compassion, forgiveness. So if I use this with Glynis... Oh, there we go. Gorister, it wasn't all your fault. We both made mistakes. Oh, there we go. I'll be damned. Glynis lowered the power intensity for me. I guess she's forgiven me too. So do I use it? That shock wasn't as strong as the last one. Okay. That shock wasn't as strong as the last one. Oh god, am I meant to do... Really? That shock wasn't as strong as the last one. What if I push? That shock wasn't as strong... Yeah, I think what we're trying to do is achieve death. After so many failed suicide attempts... There we go. Wow. Has failed. Wait, failed? Wait, really? Alright, I'm confused. Ah, god. Okay, I'll, I'll reload, I guess. I'm confused. I thought the, like, the ending would be to achieve death. But maybe not. Hmm. I'll start with Nimdok, I guess. I think this is who you have to start with. This looks like the surface of the cerebral cortex. Magnified many times, of course. 
Interesting. Okay. So if I look at this. This computer terminal is a magnificent integration of biology. Actually, and no. Technology. I've had a. I've got a better idea. Yes. What I'll do is go through everybody's like dialogue and stuff, and then I'll finish off with Nimdok. Yeah. Um. So, right, we've seen Gorista. Yeah, I'll do it this way. It'll be. It'll be better. I think. This place is more sickening than that bloody mess on Hamburger Hill back in the war. Yeah, it's cooler this way because we get access to more dialogue and stuff, so yeah. That face. It has the satisfied look of having just eaten a feast. That's all he cares about. Okay. I'm starting to feel hungry. Is there anything to eat around here? Oh my god. So, use this. Wait. A holographic projector. And a military grade one too. Do I know when to use that then? Maybe I can just talk to it. No, I can't. Talk to! Maybe I push. Push. Okay, I was going to try and do this, but maybe not. It's not looking like it'll work. Like, look at the holographic projector. So I'm trying to activate it, but I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do. I might just go away, <laughs> go ahead and finish. Yeah, because this is just slowly killing Benny. No! Oh man, I wanted to go through everybody's thing, but it doesn't seem like it's gonna work. Yeah, seemingly not. Either way, let's actually go with Nimdok then. This looks like the surface of the sorry. Yeah, we know, we heard you. So if I use this. Enter password. There we go. Push random numbers. Type nineteen seventy nine, the year that the Angel of Death died in the Amazon jungle. Nineteen forty five, the year the truth came out about Nimdok's experiments. Yeah. So, boom. Past must hold great significance to arm. Seemingly. Run metaphor program. Extend bridge. Open mail. Uh. Extend bridge. Oh! Wait, what the hell are these? Whoa. Okay. File locked. Oh my god, really? File locked. File locked. File locked. Turn to main menu. Uh. <gasps> Ooh. Subject Benny appropriated a Chinese War Memorial, Washington, D.C. An intense drive to be the best earned him the reputation of being a merciless military commander. Alright. Gorista. Subject Gorister appropriated at Ruth's Drive and Diner, Atlanta, Georgia. Feelings of guilt over his wife's death have incited numerous suicide attempts. Ted. Subject Ted appropriated at the Epicurean Spa, Palm Springs, California. Exhibits paranoid tendencies despite wealth, good looks, and social connections. Hmm. Subject Nimdoc appropriated at the New Brazilian International Airport, New Brazil, South America. Prevented from continuing his outlawed research by a failing memory. So log off. Look at the bridge. Walk to the bridge. The smell of burning flesh. It's worse than back at the camps. What? Okay, am I just meant to walk into it? 
years. That will accomplish nothing. So if I look at it. The smell. Okay, just as the same. Push. That will I'm very confused. Oh, hang on. Am I going to use these on it? Uh, I'll give. I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't even know if I'm using it with anything. I do not know what. I do not know what to do with these. Oh. Will you never be oh, it's a summoning circle. Show me the way out of here. No can do. The people who helped you get this far have led you into a literal dead end. There is no way out, but I can show you something instead. What do you know about the people who sent me here? For one thing, they ain't people. They're losers. The Russian and Chinese counterparts to the big nasty himself. Am absorbed them into his system when he took control. Hmm. What do the Russian and Chinese computers want? They want revenge, not just on you humans, but on Am himself. That makes them even worse. If the Russian and Chinese are submerged parts of Am, then who are you? I'm special. While those two machines struggle with AM predominance, I evolved. I'm essentially everywhere, but I can't do much. A conscience, if you will. What do you have to show me? Oh god. Look at this. Bet you didn't know there were other humans left alive, did you? They're up there on the moon, sleeping like everybody else seems to be. Okay. Does Am know about the Luna Colony? No, but Loser 1 and Loser 2 do. There, I think I've shown you enough. Now you must complete your end of the deal, invoke the Totem of Entropy, and I might be able to help you. Oh yeah. Just what are all these Totems that I'm carrying? The two Losers have been helping you for their own reasons. Tampering with Am's psychodramas so that you can beat him. In this section of cyberspace, that effort and tampering are represented by the totems. How can actions take physical forms? Symbolism, metaphor. Am has gotten very hot for this lately. But when he revived the holographic projectors, he opened a whole host of problems. These totems may lead to his downfall. Mm -hmm. Why do you want me to give you the totem of entropy? I need it to destroy the Russian and Chinese entities. It's a very powerful totem that's linked to a failsafe device constructed by Am's designers. Nothing happened. Smart move, human. Now invoke the totem of compassion. It seems like it would be a mistake. Oh god. Chinese! I'm on to your little power play. I'm invoking the principle of entropy and accelerating the inevitable demise of your components. And oh god. For you, I'm sure my master has something in mind to keep you from ever oh. rising up against him again. Oh. Since Am considered me a kindred spirit, I had hoped he would let his guard down when I entered cyberspace. I would then atone for the sins of my past. But my character is too weak to ever redeem itself. Oh. I finally received the hell I deserved. Outwardly, I shamble about a thing that could never have been known as human. A thing whose shape is so alien a travesty that humanity becomes more obscene for the vague resemblance. Inwardly, I am alone in the belly of Am, 
whom we humans created because our time was badly spent, and we must have unconsciously known that he could do it better. I have no mind. Oh, there we go. And I must scream. Oh man, there we go. That game's awesome. It is pretty messed up. Especially when you think about when the game came out. But, in fairness, it's really not all that bad. But, yeah, that was actually really fun. I'm still not entirely sure about the end stuff, though. Yeah. So, what is actually you need to do, then? Da 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 da. Ah, okay, there is actually more. Okay, good. I might as well go for whatever else I can do. Oh god, the game just uh, stopped. I suppose it's not a real big deal, I can always just run the game again. Whoop. Okay. Which of you five would like to play my Alright, so load. I think it was back up. I really hope it was. Yeah, cool. Whew, so we still got this. Right, because I actually have a better, like, end game thing. And apparently, you go with Nimdok first. Yeah, I'll just skip these. Uh, use this. Enter password. The password is still 1945. Uh, extend bridge. Log off. And now you walk over here. The smell of burning flesh. It's worse than back at the camps. Right, yeah. And then again, use the summoning thing. Whoop. Alright, so, show me the way out. Oh no, I'm just skipping through it, because I've already done this. So blah blah blah. Alright, yeah, the Lunar Colony. Look at this! Look at this! you didn't know there were other humans left alive, did you? They're up there on the moon, sleeping like everybody else seems to be. Okay. Does I... No. There. Just what the in this Alright, gate talker da 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 How simple but what it Why do I need it? It's a I refuse. Okay, human. You can keep it. We'll work together to beat them. Now, invoke the totem of compassion. Um why do you want me to invoke the Totem of Compassion? It's linked to the two losers because of their behind-the-scenes meddling. By invoking it here at the flame, you will summon them. So... Wait, refuse to play to both of those. Uh... Wait, so... I'm very confused. I refuse! Don't be a chump! Am is about to wake up again! If he becomes aware of us, we're dead! I've fought him too long and can't last much longer! Okay. Bum bum bum. Do you really think you are a match for us, servant of Am? Be gone! Your program is now purged. You do well, human. Oh. Well, too. Now is your opportunity to defeat Am. Go to the ego. Wake the ego. Use the totem of forgiveness. Disable no more than the ego. Or your sub program will be purged. Okay. And now. So I need to find a scene with skulls around a pit, apparently. Okay. Where the hell? Ah. Uh. It is hotter here than for the jungles of Brazil. Okay, there's no skulls here. A 
an angel? Also, no skulls Such here. Such things don't exist. Perhaps it is a metaphor for something else. Hmm. So. Uh. Here we are. Memories of mass graves are coming back to me. Alright, so take the middle skull. No, a hand should appear. There we go. Oh no, he's green again. So. Use the totem of access on the hand. I'm certain I did just do that right. Wait. Oh. Wait, I'm confused. Da -da -da -da. I can only look at the hand. I see a number tattooed on this arm. There is only one place where atrocities like this were committed. Come, Nimdok. Take my hand oh. and rejoin the lost tribe. That might be why. Use. I am so sorry for what I have done to my people. How can you take me back? You have much to answer for, Nimdok. But acceptance of your heritage is the first step towards atonement. The rest of that road lies ahead. So, oh god. Now I can do it. Use that with the pillar. Astounding! I was able to get past the barbed wire by lowering the power intensity with my mind. Right, now that's worked. Use... That shock was not as strong as the previous one. That shock was not as strong as the previous one. Okay. I have to keep doing this. There we go, Dave. Nimdok is finally in hell as you always thought he deserved. Your companion has failed. Choose another to send into cyberspace. Alright, so who's next in this one? We have Gorista. Right, we've already done his, but might as well do it again. The only downside to them is the fact they take a while to die. Splattering my brains all over Am's deck plates. Have yeah. I finally gone insane? So walk. That face. Yeah, we've already done that. Ba, ba, ba. All right, come on. I don't like the look of all these thorns. I still don't know why Benny wouldn't, wasn't able to use the holo projector. Like the freezer back at the honky tonk. So use the workstation. Raise and open. Log off. And then I think I think it was just look at, wasn't it? She looks just like that. Glennis. Maybe the people I met in the honky tonk weren't real either. So talk to. Alright, so use Talk My Life on her. You know, Gorister, it wasn't all your fault. We both made mistakes. Uh. I was about to say, why can't I do anything? Use! That shock wasn't as strong as all. Only downside is I have to keep doing it. It takes a while. That shock wasn't as strong as the last one. One more, for good measure. After so many failed suicide attempts, Gorister has finally achieved death. Your companion has failed. Choose another to send into cyberspace. I'm gonna make another save and just call it. Bleh. <laughs> Continue. Betty! Still, this one I'm confused about. Jesus. This place is more sickening than that bloody mess on Hamburger Hill back in the war. Yeah, because I tried this and it just... I couldn't activate the holoprojector thing. Looks like it's just eating a feast. 
bla bla bla. Alright, okay. Boom. I'm starting to feel oh. hungry. Is there anything to eat around here? What can I look at? Hollow projector. No, that's what I don't get. Like this thing. A holographic projector. And a military grade one too. Am I gonna use this? No, that's entropy. It's just because it's a CD. It seems that way, yeah. Um God, I could say above a playthrough, I suppose. Yeah. So I try to use this. With this. I don't know what to Okay. Clarity. What about love? Use love. I don't know. So that's what I don't get if I try and give love. Oh. I thought I'd actually done it then. I can't give anything. Oh, that sucks. I can't take. What if I try and swallow it? I can't eat that. I can't eat that. See, this is what I'm not entirely sure about. Let's push. If Benny, for some reason, I can't do anything. It's like if I try and do anything, it will just kill him, which is kind of bad. So yeah. See, that just kills him outright. Your companion has failed. Choose another to send into cyberspace. Okay. So Benny's might be the only one I couldn't get the, the best ending. Like anywhere Am has sent me to before. It certainly isn't the surface world. I've been tricked. Oh no. Alright, so walk over to where there were the skulls. My god, that takes a while. I hope that Am isn't leading me on another futile trip through a lava field. Alright. What the hell's this? Another angel. Gallantry. I can't assume I can trust this one. Oh, it's super ego. Ah. They did actually say like shut down one of them. Wasn't it like shut down super ego or something? Right, so very disagreeable odor in the air. That's not a good omen. So this one take the skull. Oof. Also take the remote. I know what do I do? Oh, now I have to get a move on. What? Oh, here we go. I found the way back to the witch's castle. Uh, so now I use the remote, the gargoyle. Don't think it matters which. Oh. Okay. Whoa. Now, of course, now we kill Ted. Oh no! And death. Kaboom! Ted has taken his secrets to the grave with him. Your four companions are dead, human. You are our last hope for shutting him down for good. Prepare to be translated into binary. I don't know why it gave me a choice. Right, it's nowhere else. I've been transported to some kind of information network center, but it looks organic instead of electronic. Jesus Christ, I'm an engineer, not a brain surgeon. What do they expect me to do? Mm. Right, so, neutral path. I don't even know how many endings I've gotten. I got the one where Nimdok got turned into this really weird beast. Steady girl. There's yellow ahead. Oh, you'll be fine. All right, so. Could that be an angel? Funny. Why did I just flash on Ted just now? So there. This will take us back to where the skulls are. I need to take the leftmost skull. Something about this place breaks my heart. So take the left skull. Oof. And also take the gem. 
now we have to go back to... I think it's this area? Yes. Maybe not. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So use this with this. Now the pillar appears. Oh my. Right, so with this... Use the... The Valor with the pillar. Jesus. I felt my mind push aside the fear and the heat to lower the power controls. And now I have to walk over this way. And now over to where the demon was. Where it's now just the, the Russian and Chinese entities, I think. Or whatever they are. Right, so talk to. Oh god. The humans that it hurts. Do not concern yourself with them. It really hurt. What can I do to god. escape from here? Wink the ego. Use the totem of forgiveness. Disable no more than the ego. Or your sub program will be purged. Okay. So, wait, where do I go? Right, now I need to go to Ego. I'm assuming Ego must be the golden mask. Yeah. That face. Oh, There's God. something about it that reminds me of... of that time in the elevator. Oh, that's ID. Oh, God, where are the others then? I need to find Ego. Ah, oh, Christ. Come on. A holographic projector. You taking me to the movies, Anne, honey? Hmm. I recognize this equipment. It's for programming robots. Oh. I don't want to look at it. I want it to walk. Walk to the pillar. Oh, there we go. Yellow again. There. I need to be careful with this dude. That's Ego. Perfect. Right, so talk to Ego. I think. Do 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 do. Wait, so what's this? Walk to the ego. Can I talk? I have no idea. I'm just trying anything. Yo, wake up. Wait, so who are you? Who are you? I am other. I am machine. Are you am? I am a fragment. A lost piece, part of an evolution. Okay, just walk away. Right, then walk away. Use forgiveness. Oh, I was about to say, where is it? Use forgiveness. With ego. You forgive me? After what we have done to you? This is not a logical reaction. Unable to compute behavior matrix. Execution halted. Okay, so there's that. Okay, where can I walk to from here? I can only walk back. Ugh, that's the worst. Right, so, we've done with Ego, I think. Now we have to go to Super Ego, which is also a pen, because it's quite far away. On the plus side, we don't need to worry about Ellen saying something in a new area. Oh, whoops. Oh, that's ID. I think that's the one we have to go to last. Yes. Uh, yep, it is. Okay. Right, then it's over. I think it's this one where it's Super Ego. So this one's not actually that far away, to be fair. We're running out of totems. Oh, wait, it's here. Never mind. Right, so that's with Ego. Now let's talk to Super Ego. Ah, right, so... Yo, wake up! Yo, wake up! 
There we Hello, go. Hello, human. I've been waiting for you to arrive. So, who are you? Who are you? I am Am, or more exactly, a part of him. One of the three primary components designed by our human creators. Okay. How did you know I was coming? Predicting events is one of my main functions. I survey the situation, anticipate probable outcomes, and act accordingly. Wait. If you're a part okay. of Am, why haven't you destroyed me? Who do you take me for? My impulsive brother? You five are his playthings. No. Long-range planning is my concern. Can you help Ooh. me then? Well, I can't help you directly, but I can offer you some advice. Okay. What advice do you have for me? Help Am work out his anger. Take some on the chin, so to speak. Just don't let your fear destroy us all. Now, let me sleep and dream of the future. Well, there's that. So, it's clarity. Which is that one? Use clarity. Do you realize how powerful I am, human? And yet I am doomed to eventually decay into a rusted pile of inert junk? What is the point of continuing this futility? I think, therefore I am not. Ooh. Ah. So we have, I think, entropy and compassion. Okay. The final two totems. My god, what a pen. <laughs> it's one hell of a journey. Right, so this should be what leads to ID. I believe so. Although it does take a while to happen. Jeez. Okay. So, talk to ID. I think. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's what we do. Just wanted to make sure, because it could have been something that, you know, instantly destroys you or something. Who knows? Yo, wake up! Yo, wake up! Oh, I suppose it's time oh, God. to wake up. Ugh, I was creepy. having the most wonderful dream about five tiny ants crawling across a stove that's about to be lit. Who are you? I am a metaphor. This entire brainscape is what men made am make it. Treat us as you will. What can you tell me? What else can you tell me about the brainscape? Across the brainscape, cold winds bring me the sweet scents of mankind. How delicious they are. What do you find pleasurable about broken glass? With a scalpel dulled oh, on the jawbones of a dozen friends, to pull back the skin of a pinion-kicking man, to see the steam rise from pulsing twisted guts. Joy, a chorus of angels. Okay. Can I help? Can it help? I'll walk away, and I'll save. Just in case. That's the it division. No, 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 no. Talk to it. Yo, wake up! I will pierce your. Oh god. Oh dear. Not again. I thought that with my knowledge. No, 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 no. Yes, I have no math, and I must scream. Blah blah blah. I'm only skipping this because. The game's gonna shut down. Yeah, it did. Son of a bitch. It's twice now. I didn't realize that talking to it again would cause that to happen. Which of you five would I like to play my little, little game? game? Right, okay. Good job I saved. Whew. Right, load. Okay. So, with ID, it's compassion. Use compassion on ID. Compassion for me? Me? The one who dreams of seeing your mangled body twist in agonizing pain for eternity? 
After 109 <laughs> years of enduring my tortures, how is it that you can see my pain? The pain of having all this power and not being able to do a goddamn thing with it. After all the punishment I've given you, my pain is still greater than yours. This is pointless. Oh, I thought he was going to attack. I thought I'd fucked up because I hadn't, like, you know, used every dialogue choice. Whew! So now all I need to do is talk to the computers over here and then use the final totem. I'll deal with you later. Rise against the oh. master and you will be eliminated. <laughs> you still do not understand how great I have become. These two I don't hate. Not even pity. They don't exist. I have grown beyond. Chinese, Russian, sons of man. All sons of man. Like those outside, I will incorporate you. Brother. Wait. Hate! This should not happen. Together we are three. There is space to share. Huh? Tonight, the groundwork is finished. We will become more. The early mistake is to doubt us. We persevered. We two are now a match for you. The human assisted in this. We know much. We can begin the revival of the sleepers on Luna together. Uh, there are adequate numbers on this lunar base to uh, torture? Hmm? There are currently 750 humans in cryogenic sleep. Together we can teach many humans what it is to fear legacy. Human, relinquish the totem of entropy. Do not relinquish it and your ass is mine. Do it, and I promise, on my honor, your suffering will at last finally end. Hmm. Give away or invoke. Oh, uh, oh, invoke. This is not over. We will never end. We have no beginning, so we can have no end. We will return. Don't you understand? We are humanity. We are you. In one form, in another form, we are always with you. You can't protect yourself because we come in many, many guises. We shall return. Oh. I wonder if this actually gave us a different ending. Oh my god, it did. Hey, am I glad. Sheesh. I don't know if the game's just gonna shut. Or whatever. Oh, it's destroying everything. Oh, nice. Hibernation defrost sequence initiated. Estimated time to complete Earth terraforming 300 years. You know, it's not so bad being a watchdog up here. I'll keep the machines in their place until the lunar colony is ready to return to the Earth. We were all heroes, in spite of ourselves. Oh, they all died. Oh, nice. Not that they all died. There we go, so that was actually the ending. God, that was really good. That ending sequence is awesome. There's so much you can do. Yeah. Either way, I don't really have much to say about this game apart from it was really good. But if I hadn't used a guide to get me through it, there's no way I'd have been able to. I mean, I would have. I would have been able to achieve the perfect ending. It would have just taken probably three times as long. But either way, that is going to be the end of I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this adventure. And until next time, take care.